What on earth? What are they even doing? Like... <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Liru here. This is the... I can't even pronounce the first word right. Rodian. Rhodesian. Gotta figure that one out by the end. I'm just tabbing out to check the name again. Rohesian Light Infantry Unit, and they're only at a specific capacity, so that's fine. Low person up, and this is the convoy they gave me, which I had to heavily edit to get working, but apparently about 15 people are going to take a BTR, a troop transport, a BMP-1 with infantry, and one of its crewmen are outside for whatever stupid reason. Uh, some ammo cache fix, uh, ZU battery, an SPG-9. I, uh, this is a BT, for what the heck. BRDM, that's what it is. And then they told me to add a goat truck, so I did my best. But, uh, I've tested this convoy out. It was pretty buggy when I first got it. I ended up having to replace the entire convoy through copy and paste. And uh, should be good to go now. So we'll see how this all plays out. Just one sec here. Just doing some like corrections on my settings. They're still waiting for all their guys to get in, so we're a little bit late. My apologies. And we're just waiting on them. Uh, this is GOS Nogosawaga. I don't even know how to pronounce that one, but this is one of the GOS series maps. Uh, I've worked with it once when we did a zombie up on Katala Island over here. Played around with a few different Send things, but we'll have to six. see how this all goes no. out. Sorry, Canadian Cody. Thank you for the sub, my friend. I do hope you enjoy tonight's op. But it's basically going to be a convoy ambush from what I see. Uh, they're going to ambush an arms deal location, and there's already some infantry that are placed on the map. I'm kind of working with a template they gave me, and it apparently has a bunch of AA guys. Yep, so the longer they take, the more I'm going to fortify here. It looks like there's also two BTRs as QRF. We have another BTR. Loaded with infantry right here. Then four people in this little camp. So here's what I'm going to do. Since it's pitch black and none of these guys have night vision, I'm going to add some lanterns to the top of some of these vehicles because these guys are taking a bit long. And they want something unique, so we'll give them a nice Liru touch here. Can the lantern be on, please? Yeah, okay, it's just the lighting. All these Vicks. Let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Okay, so this is going to require... Something a bit custom here, because the thing's on that. What if I put you over here? Yep, okay. That's how I'll do this. We can just put it upside down, I guess. Or not. <laughs> Come on. For some reason, that's interfering with the texture. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to disable simulations here. So we'll put a lantern on that Vic. We'll put a lantern on this Vic. Apparently, goats are breaking their legs. You want to shoot my goat? That's a member of does your CO say it's okay to shoot the goat? Oh, I wouldn't shoot the goat. Shoot the goat. Shoot it. I mean, they're they're asking for permission to shoot the goat. He's like the opposite of an Aztec. He doesn't want us to sacrifice the goat for the goat for him. They don't know I put it to invincible. Oh, dude, you unbanned Crowley so he can get on the team. Does anyone have a sacrificial knife? Let's go. Shoot it. Shoot the goat. Shoot it. Gonna blow up. God, you're a shit shot. Come on. Wow. You guys really suck. They keep missing the goat. Damn. 
Your guys are really bad shots. I mean, just that point blank. He's gonna AT the goat now. Here, let me uh, let me fix myself before you all die. Looks like they're gonna finally start their brief. Jiggly, get in the line. Everybody, get in the line. Grant, are you special? Yes, yes. In a fucking line, Mike. Let's see what they do here. They've got the convoy marked out. I'll wait till they start deploying to get this thing done. <laughs> yep, go. <laughs> Uh, take out pen and paper. Yo, Cosmo, put your voice on yellow. Put it yourself Sir, on yellow. Take out pen and paper. We're gonna brief. I don't have pen and paper. Yellow. My paper's already out. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Alright, mission for today is we've got an arms convoy heading from the town of Manzoa to a known guerrilla facility to the south. It's got no name. I'm going to circle it. You should all see it. Uh, the convoy is expected to be carrying arms and ammunition, uh, probably Soviet block small arms. Fucking Jiggly quit marking on the map. Uh, most vehicles are expected to be light, thin skinned, fucking trucks, maybe a UAV or two, uh, possibly an armored escort. Uh, we believe there will be no more than 10 and no less than 5 vehicles in the convoy. Our mission for today will be to ambush, eliminate the convoy. Uh, to do this, we've got Nokama, and I believe Jiggly as our pilot, and we've got a couple of Alouette 3. Well, they told me to add that together. one, so. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, in. shall we? So, let's get this done quick and dirty. Yeah, so I've got a few forces in a few different locations Kane. here. Copy. Okay, you got enough information? Let's, let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, yep. shall we? All right, let's focus back right. on what I was doing over here for a second. Okay, so at 111.269, you see a, what looks like a radio tower and a few small shacks in the poor little town. It looks like the convoy would be getting ready to... Looks um, like they might be moving downhill. I don't know if that's a good spot. What do you think about that spot? Go ahead. All right. Is that downhill or uphill? Or would that be in a valley? Pretty flat. And this is just going to add some light. Not to the gases, because they're trucks. This one apparently doesn't want to be bright for whatever stupid reason. Okay, that's fine. But it adds some light to the top of some of these Vicks, which is quite alright. Let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Yeah, we're gonna do That's good. Thank you for the follows, guys. I ha I am happy that everyone's excited here, uh, and we'll see how the player base does. But again, I didn't spawn in any of this. I'm doing a template that they've given me, so we'll see how this all plays out. <laughs> but I guess Zimbabwe is where the Op4 faction are. They're the Rhodesians. Nine. And we're taking out some sort of armed convoy. You're not coming with us on the ground, are you? Me? No. Alright. So we got 11. 
Strike that 10 from Jiggy Swine. Uh, go ahead. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Shut up, McCaden, and you can go to the arsenal. Yeah, I know it's tough to hear them. It's because they have okay. themselves set to normal, and uh, this map is a very audible map. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Plus, I keep interrupting myself. We'll go over here. No comments, step out too. Um, Akula, is Noodles here? Can Noodles show up? Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Thank you for all the follows, guys. Um, Gonna put some more lanterns down. Jiggly, can you lead? Just around enemy positions here. Um, Ali. Oh, Kaiser Medic. Izo, can you lead? Oh. Win. Izo, you're leading. It's on the road. Um, uh, Akula. <laughs> Akula, Izo, pick your stick. Um, let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? That group ready to go. Okay. okay. Light's very important here for its, uh, so the units can see. I'm gonna have flares ready to go as well. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Put all these guys on the side right here. We'll see how this all plays out. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Though, again, this is... This is for them. Uh, Dingo. What are the percentages for difficulty? Because you know? I've been asking for multiple times, I still told me. I have my arms up. This isn't. I, I don't know where to classify these guys because I haven't seen them perform, so they're either going to be tier 1, 2, or 3. Based on what I've already seen, it's going to probably be either tier 1 or tier 2, but hey, we'll see how good they are. But this is their server, their rules. I keep asking them what their difficulty settings are because right now it's default, so everything's going to be on 50%. I just don't want them to get screwed by their own AO here. So I turned this into an arsenal so I could get myself a long range radio. Can a tactical bacon. I'm gonna get on their LR frequency, which they told me was 60. I mean, if no one tells me, I'm going to keep it on default, so if you I get raped, you, you send it to me on Steam? Okay. 60, 40, 47. Okay. Let's, uh, let's give them okay. a warm welcome, shall we? Interesting. Okay. That's what they want. That's what they'll get. 70 for spotting. So that's an interesting mix. General skills high, but accuracy and weapon handling are low. So these guys are going to miss probably their first, like, four or five shots. But if this is going to be CQB, with the general skills still being relatively high, they may miss, like, a few shots at point blank. But it's going to be down to one to two shots. So they'll get the... Player base will get the first... Uh, the first shot, I would say, and be able to drop the first few, which is going to help them here, because we have a BTR and BMP on lead. But then we have the actual supply convoy, which I think is their main target. So they're going to need quite a line to deal with this, but they don't have bloodlust either, so if they get shot, they're just going to go down. But we'll see how this all plays. Depending on where the convoy gets hit which they haven't really marked anything. They've got one part on LZ Alpha. Just trying to figure out what their actual plan is, but I think they're going to go right...
hold on. I know it's pitch black right now. You know, if you guys wanted light, you could have just asked me to do something instead of killing yourselves with a nade. Just saying. They, they literally killed everyone. I, I think I already did this, but just to be safe. Just to be safe. But yeah, I, I would agree with you guys. Definitely tier one. I'm also going to say this over a hundred people just saw you do that, so. Uh, well, this is, uh. This isn't going to go well. <laughs> With, uh, with that in mind, I literally think that they're going to kill themselves. They don't have bloodlust on, but... Uh, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Yeah, Northern, already start working on it. That's our introduction with this group. They just outright murder themselves. I'm going to put up a few statics here. What faction are these guys part of? What the heck is this thing? Oh, that's just a fancy SPG-9. It says SPG-9. What am I thinking? Light gun. Yeah, what are the ESP? ESP. They're part of the Sarani army. Okay, that's interesting. Not what I was expecting. That's fine. Sarani, men, deserts. These guys. Do they have any specific good turrets here? Because I want to make this into a nice little checkpoint. So we'll put that down. Put this down, copy, paste to infantry. One will go there, and one will go here. They're also going into this with no recon, so I'm not sure if that's something... Do you guys use drones for recon, or you just go in? Okay. Because your LZ is, like, right next to the little checkpoint that whatever person made this mission file did, so... Yeah. Yeah, these guys are hilarious. That's great. Uh, will I be using mortars even for flares? I'm gonna just be, uh, at least for flares, I'm just gonna use the spawn effect white flare. And we're gonna go from there. Easy as that. And that'll be able to give me light for the player base for whatever they do. Uh, I'm not going to remote control anything today, so, you know, just going with that. Yeah, 1974. Again, I just like to ask questions based on what they do, because every group's different, but we'll see how this all goes. I mean, for all I know, they could have a hawk with a little camera on it or something. <laughs> Are they learning how to throw chem lights? Seriously, watch this. Spawn. They're asking how you switch grenades. Oh, this is going to go well. Here's a bunch of chem lights for you. Like, they, the lanterns are clearly better at this, but... We'll just have to see how this goes. Yeah, someone did just ask how you switch grenades, which is control G. But you know. <sighs> I'm really worried the BMP is gonna outright murder them. It doesn't it's a BMP one, so it only has the main cannon and the machine gun. But, you know, the 
BTR as well. Small little auto cannon and a machine gun for bigger rounds. Or, excuse me, that's a 12.7. This is a 7.62. So, you know, we'll just have to see how this goes. I'm going to take out the goat truck. Although that would be fun and they took like they were, one of their bosses told me they wanted me to make it. It doesn't fit with the theme of the convoy. Ay ay ay. So how are they going to get into the AO? Are they going to take one of these choppers? And these nice little doohickeys which I'm not sure if they'll even be able to fit in all that. Let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Okay, Guess we'll have to see. Yeah, I might have a... I'll probably have a civilian car or two driving around, but if they're setting up somewhere, then I won't uh, make it trigger anything. Oh, of course they're going to blame me if they get massacred. The Zeus is always blamed for everything. <laughs> always. But we'll have to see how this all goes. Someone call for me? This is 17, radio check on 60, over. Now there's literally a bunch of chem lights on the ground. 5x5 five five on 60. So I'm, here's the deal, here's the deal. I'm not really going to add anything in. I'm going to let this play out as the mission file, and I'm just going to adjust things accordingly, because we're getting a first look on what this group can do. The only thing I've added is, since this appeared to be a nice little checkpoint here, I'm also going to put a truck down. A uh, nice little Cherno-Russian uh, hero open right here to symbolize that that's how these guys got here. But the infantry are already down. I just put down two dishkas to kind of formalize this as a little checkpoint they set up. And I'll also add a two-man team Ready. to do some patrolling. Solid copy. Roger that. Welcome. Nice and easy. Just adding some light as well. Actually, I could put the Ural Send in goat team right over here now. And then I can copy and paste this guy and put him down right there. Uh, Dro, the pit bull, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. I hope you enjoy today's op. I definitely will. One of them died again. What the heck did they do? All right, I, I didn't hear any explosions. There's people still okay, so I'm assuming they didn't kill themselves, but we'll see how this all goes. This is what they picked as their LZ. It's uh, about half a kilometer away. They should be all right, but hey, we'll, we'll see. And we've got some goats down. It was to uh, make some invincible goats at their base and to put a goat truck down, but I'm not going to bother with it. Because again, I want to see this is something they've made on their own. I'm just going to administrate it and make sure everything goes well. Uh, for convoys, the best thing you can do with convoys is make sure they're all grouped together individually, then group them all with this. Set it to careless. Uh, you can keep hold fire because fire at will means they'll shoot. Set it to normal and then so, just give it a few waypoints of where you want it to stop to make turns. And then the convoy should work fine. They never gave me an exact time with it either, so I'm just going to let it play out as it should. Otherwise, they're going to... They're going to take two of these puppies in and we'll probably go from there. See, I know the... Ro um. The bush war happened between the 60s and 70s, but you see you also have players that wear NVGs like this that also had the thermals. So that's why I ask for cases like drones, because, you know, some people may still use it just for the sake of recon or whatnot, or have an idea of the AO itself. So that's why I ask. Hey, I'm willing to bet money that this convoy is going to work in the way I have it intended. And if it doesn't work, 
I'll do something stupid for you guys. <laughs> yeah, and then the night vision scope on the FNFAL, exactly my point of, you know, this is 60s to 70s, but that stuff, they're using that sort of stuff. So, meh. Let's Prepare to lose on, money. <laughs> this convoy, I'm happy for this convoy. I tested a few things in preparation for this op, so should be good to go, but... They assault it too far south. Let's We've got uh, this other little... Up, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Some sort of ambush or just some sort of defensive group. But they're marked as the same faction. Actually, it's probably for this little camp. So I'm going to put... Actually, can I even light this fire? That would be nice. It's going to be like pitch fucking black here. And there was lights. Good enough. Uh, they're playing as the Rhodesian army. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? And this is not, this isn't my direct player base. This is a different Milsim group entirely that call themselves the Rhodesian Light Infantry. So, we'll see how they go. They still got some guys kidding up. God, my, my player base isn't going to let it go that they all blew themselves up within the first five minutes of their op, but that's fine. Is it one life? Um, this is Liru on frequency 60, broadcasting for a radio check in question. Is anyone on frequency 60? Over. Smart 7, I read you on 60, send it. Roger, is this a one life only mission or are reinserts enabled? People are asking on stream. Uh, no teleports, but they can respawn at base and air can fly them back in. Over. Solid copy. Thank you. All right, so they can get people in uh, via reinserting, just non teleportation, which I wouldn't do anyway because that's kind of stupid. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So they're going to insert right here. I'll give them about 15, uh, 10 minutes after they touch down. 10 to 15. We'll see what I'm in the mood for, since I think they need a little crutch after this. But, uh, we'll see how this goes. You get something for subbing, uh, yeah, you get the goat emoji, and when the partnership stuff finally gets through, we're adding at least another ten emojis, or however many we can. Also, if we ever get enough subs, we might do a sub-only op just to see how it goes. Uh, do something like that once a month. What do I think of the straw poll? I prefer not to click the link, because that would take me out of the monitor. But if it's about these guys either getting the mission done or failing horribly, I don't know. I'm not going to make any predictions yet. Sure, they had one mishap at base, but hey, that can happen. We'll just have to see how their gameplay is. And there they go. Off from Camp Franklin, I'm going to teleport myself in the AO, and we'll be listening to their local comms as well, but not their short-range radio so, fret, because they didn't give that to me. Alright. Is that what that poll is? Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Oh my god. Guys, that's very inappropriate. <laughs> so I'm a bit worried about... Okay, no. So I thought they were looking at it like that, at that angle. They were getting very close to each other, but one's at one height, one's at the other. I would hate to see them crash into each other. Because um, their leader has told me he wants this op to go really well because he's doing this for the sake of, you know, just some awareness of their group. They want to grow a bit. But, um... I'm going to teleport this guy in. Uh, 
Oh, it's not working right now. Okay, I thought he said it was. Let's, but, uh, let's uh, give him a warm welcome, shall we? Yeah, I just don't want this to become an embarrassment for them. What's my cat's name? Uh, Bramble. Because her claws are way too big, and she keeps digging them into my So let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Yeah, they'll get awareness exactly in order and exactly. Do they have any older jets? I do not know, because they're using quite a mix of units here to uh, get their supplies. There isn't any specific Rhodesian mod that has Rhodesian gear, from what I can see. They've got a mix of, you know, older model stuff that I could use. But it's all up to them. You can't see at spawn. Get off global, dude. Where's my spawn ability for effects? Get out of global, exactly. And he just goes to the side. <laughs> ah, for the love of God. So one group inserted. One of them has a light on. That actually looks kind of scary. So that's one team that's landed. The other team landed a bit more to the east over here. And I guess they're going to prep their ambush right there or something. How are these guys? They're still safe. They haven't been alerted yet. Alright, that's cool. We'll see how this all plays out. Oh, did they... Did they injure the chopper? It's fuel. Nah, I think they're just leaving it here. They should at least turn the light off. And they've all got chem lights on them. Well, that's... I hope that's not permanent. Then again, they might not even have NVGs, yet they're bringing NVG scopes. So I'm a bit confused on that. So they have to use the light source so they can stick together. I get that, but... Then why the NVG scopes? <laughs> Like, just you throw chem lights at where you think the convoy is going to come. And set up a little perimeter. Maybe put up a few flares, too. Fire those off. And then, you know, engage your convoy. But that many people. This many infantry. We have six over here. And we so have five over well here. So, 11 infantry are going to take on this convoy. Okay. MVG scopes were quite calm in spirit. Alright, I get that. I get that. In comparison to goggles, I'd agree then. Alright. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that they prioritize explosives, they have AT to take on those Vix, then it'll easily play itself out, but you never know. It's also going to be, as soon as I can get a radio message out, I will be sending some QRF in. Probably in the form of these two BTRs. Just as quick moving forces to try to assist, but... Otherwise, what are these guys doing? Looks like they took the chem lights off, and now they're just moving in using their NVG scopes to see. Alright. If they keep moving up this road, they will run into this checkpoint and possibly take it over. Will I brainwash capture troops? <laughs> like that one thing with Chult? Yeah, possibly. But I doubt. Uh, they've got their medical system set to if they take excessive damage, they actually will die. So, I'm probably less likely to get a hostage here. But yeah, right now it's literally pitch black. I can make out the road because I got a bit of my gamma up, but they're right in front of me. Right here, you can kind of see the tree, for fuck's sake. Yeah, 
so they got some Maz and other AT equipment. That was a very... That was not 5x5. Five five. I could barely make that guy's voice out. It wasn't for the radio beeps. Flash feigned the whole group in cable tie. <laughs> as invisible. Someone's at least checking the rear, which is good. We got one LR right there. Otherwise, these guys are good to go. I assume this other group they're going to meet up with probably on this side of the road, and we'll see how they ambush. If they ambush and this group see, uh, hears them, they're going to probably get out as infantry and go check out the convoy. But depending on the spacing of this convoy, it's going to cover a few hundred meters at the least with the 10 vehicles they had down. That's a good question. I don't know if they had uh, flashbangs back in the 60s and 70s. It'd be interesting, to say the least. This one seven. I read you 5x5, five five, over. I have someone here by the name of Hellcraft. Should I bring him to the LZ? Sometimes reinsert. Uh, wait one. So they're gonna become 12 effective with that guy. Two fire teams of six. I'm using light to stay Send together. in goat team six now. Mayo, thank you very much. Oh, shoot. The 2499 sub. I didn't think those would actually go. Uh, dang. Uh, thank you so much, man. Hope you enjoy today's op. And. Yeah, uh, feel free to use the other emojis. Uh, those are <laughs> those are the ones I want to make in the general emoji pool when uh, we get the partnership thing going. But you know, we'll make the nine ninety nine and twenty four ninety nine emojis really special then after the fact, <laughs> like special request emojis let's, or something. Uh, let's give them a warm welcome. Something cool. We? Yeah. <laughs> Gee, speaking of splat, someone just shot right into the. the heck was that? Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Yeah, we're we're aware now. That was Roger that. What the hell was that? I just saw a tracer go flying into the AO. Heard a gunshot, and these guys are gonna go prone now, because what the hell was that? Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Uh, no comment. I'm way. back on neck. Go ahead and drop him back off at the LZ. Uh, tell him to catch yeah, up. Yeah, fresh group, doors. I know, right? Roger that. Not sure if we can include way. Chad today, but the next stop we do. Roger, Actually, Chad. how about this? Next stop I do with these guys, if it if it's gonna go interestingly, I'll get drunk and do a drunk Zeus stream. The way. We'll go nuts. But this guy's gonna go check out way. what the hell's going on. Because someone literally fired a shot Roger. into this AO. Or into this checkpoint. And it was loud, it wasn't even suppressed. On the way. Actually, I'm going to get this group up. On the way. I want them to go check out with this Ural what the fuck that was. And report back to this group. Heck, they've got guys coming down. I, I don't think I've ever had an accident. I've had bad frags in my ops before, plenty, but an accidental weapon discharge like that, I think it's happened only once or twice within my own community. 
We're gonna have to drive it manually. So it's dark on the road. Sorry. Okay. 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 There I go. <laughs> they just hit it with the freaking Moz? He went down. Anyone gonna shoot him? What the fuck? Copy. So I decrewed the turrets. Copy that. Killed him. Yeah, but that rifle, whoever's firing right now, that's the guy that discharged the weapon. So whoever their marksman is, is the reason this outpost is kind of getting fucked here. Copy that. I want to send Copy. you up as a runner to basically run up this road. He's already dead. I want to try to get a runner out of here. Understood. On the way. On the way. Copy. Welcome. On the way. On the way. On the way. And he's going to be able to warn the convoy, but he needs to go. Why is this not working? Understood. You're being retarded. He's literally just looking around like he doesn't know what the fuck's Copy. going on. I think he's tripping. Let me make sure no one can see this guy. Good. Waiting. Understood. Welcome. Copy. Let's get you the Run. hell out of here. On the way. Copy. Set the sprint. So convoy, I'm gonna have come in in about ten minutes. 64-bit uh, has been released for Operation Trebuchet. Yes, I heard about that. It's an alpha build, though, so I'm a bit concerned. But we'll see how this all plays out. Player teleport. We'll see how they deal with these two guys that are hiding behind their sandbags, watching for anyone to come up on them. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Thank you for the follow. So here come these guys. That truck's gonna make a nice little impromptu barricade for this convoy if they reach it. But one guy we just have running up the road, he's gonna try to warn the convoy because they knew it was coming. They were told. And that's just going to make the convoy more jittery about what's going on here. But if that infantry guy reaches the convoy before the 10 minutes are up, then we'll just send the convoy ahead of time. Ooh! That's a casualty right off the bat. They take him out. Right in the open, let's, didn't uh, even see it coming. Welcome, he goes down. They take out that Lance Corporal. Mm -hmm. Come on, if he just went down. Who the heck is that shooting? I think they all have FALs. Otherwise, he wakes back up. He's going to be wounded. But this guy's definitely in the clear here. He is... He should be at least running for his life. 
Yeah, Fal, the FAL is a really good gun, in my opinion. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome. They have these nice the 50, 50 cows to use. They might move it into so better positions. Did he have a grenade launcher? Uh, drop him north of the LZ, but don't drop him at the ambush point. Over. This is one seven. Send it over. So you're gonna use this as the ambush point. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think the convoy is gonna start rolling out before this guy gets here. So I'll keep waypointing him around, and I'll try to find the point of collision here, and then they'll have a chat. And what I'll basically do is, since these guys will be ready, I'll be a bit more aggressive with how I move my units around within the convoy. Otherwise, they're repositioning the dishkas, getting ready to go. Uh, I do not believe anyone from within the group is streaming. Uh, if everything goes well and they want me to stream again after this, I will talk to them about setting up some ground perspectives. But otherwise, I don't think anyone is at this time. Convoy is all prepped and ready to go. Again, set the careless, but fire at will. This is so that they keep driving no matter what. Tight file. They're going to go at a normal speed. And just to test their movement here, I am going to send them up. Right here. Don't tell me you just broke on me. I swear to God. This is why I hate convoys. Ясно, приступаем. Так точно. Выдвигаюсь на позицию. Because they get stuck. Just like this. Так точно. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> that fixed it. You just gotta yell at it and pray to Jesus, and then boom, it works. <laughs> or are what would be Arma Jesus? Yes, not pretty Let's see if he'll go on longer paths. There we go. Now with a real See he wants to go, he just is being completely retarded. So I'm going to let these vehicles go ahead, and then we'll just tie you to the end. So let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? And if you're still being retarded, we'll just recopy and paste you. Oh, now you go. So uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? What the hell's wrong with you? And then that, and that should make it work now. There we go. So yeah, nice things to make work right there. And she should be good to go. You're going rogue for whatever stupid reason. And you're going out of order, lovely. So everything behind this is fucking up Royale right here, so... Looks like they're just back in the order of that thing, so... Put that guy on the rear now. And he'll go to the road and follow. So yeah, just a bit of micromanagement with position. Okay. Yeah, everything behind that ZSU is being completely retarded. So we'll 
let that go there and just reattach vehicles as such. Here, let me just light them up real quick. Don't light them up. Alright. Roger that. One, two. Alright. That'll have to be it for now, and if there's any more so, issues, we'll just fix them accordingly, but they're just following each other's stupid little path right there. Yeah, convoys are definitely a pain in the ass. That's why I question their boss, saying, are you sure for, like, your first intro op you want to have a buggy convoy? Because I can try my best to make it work, but... Eventually they fall into place. This should be okay. Yeah, convoys no normally don't automatically fix themselves. That's the issue. So they're digging trenches right here. Would we recommend you to spacing away from, uh, well, так точно. Hey, yo, Cosmo, так точно. Am I allowed to watch uh, Lulu's stream and no. see what he's preparing for? Us? No, you're not. That's called stream sniping. What are you doing? Who shot me? Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Um, let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, right. shall we? Okay. Yeah, just because it's called Lone Yo, is Gandhi here? Is there like a medic here? Oh, this is great. I don't think I know what they do. <laughs> oh, no, the lead vehicle isn't worth fucking hell. Yasna, приступаем. Выдвигаюсь на позицию. I still can't believe what I just witnessed. So now you're starting to break. Understood. So now that's the lead vehicle, okay? So let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? I got him. And I just memory leak because convoys. Yay. <sighs> this is why I hate convoys. Literally, they're just murdering each other now, and the convoy's pretty much breaking, so. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. This is why I hate convoys with a burning passion. It's because they literally break the game sometimes. I'm not amused right now, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh... Hold on, I should probably put the team speak in the way since I gotta put up- Oh wait, no, they don't even- or, uh... Just to prevent some trolling, because I'm pretty sure that's what it was, unless that's what they have for stream sniping and whatnot. Program that convoy, or at least scripted it, 
is utter shit. Well, fuck it. Now I don't care. That convoy's coding is not done properly. Why am I doing a convoy mission? Because they told me to do a convoy mission. That's generally what happens when you do a convoy. It either stops working, breaks... I don't even know it was stream snipe. I, I really don't care anymore, but... Whatever. Copy. <laughs> yeah, that, that sums it up, Wolves. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, but to you guys, I'm sorry. I thought this would be more serious, but... As you can tell, it's not that serious. They also have the glitch that when you gotta respawn yourself to... Make it work. I don't know. I didn't catch it. I was just hearing voices. And now literally everything in the convoy is broke. Lovely. Frickin' lovely. Seriously, whoever coded this is an idiot. This is how you fix a convoy. Delete them one at a time and put them back in. <clears throat> Second was the transport truck. I need to ungroup them before I do that. Second was that puppy. Get all these guys over here. Deletes, deletes. Put that in. Third Vic was this. Put that up. I'm going to have a minimal crew on it. Because I'm done with this shit. Get that on. Delete. Delete. And you had two of these puppies. Delete. Had one of these. I'm just going to put it down without any crew. Delete. You had the SPG-9. That down. Two more of these. Uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? And then, what are you? You're a stupid fuel truck, you're that, you're that, and we now have these two. And I guess we're not going to include the BDRM, because again, let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? we'll just make another transport truck. Put that down, put that in, let's, uh, let's put these guys back welcome, in. Set to careless, hold fire, file formation, and then take them in small groups so they don't crash again because I took copies of the vehicles, meaning whatever the heck was on their code is going to stick. And boom. Roger. On the way. And that is how you fix a convoy. On the way. Copy that. Copy. Wilco. Easy as that. Drunk Black Ops. Yeah, I guess. I mean, they're driving me pretty bad here. That's fine. <laughs> Convoys. So now, what are you gonna do? You're just driving in circles. Move on ahead, we'll just tie you to the last unit back here. I'll tie you to back there. And that's actually logical. These two will be the lead Vix. These guys are gonna, I guess, move fast to catch up here. That's fine. This BTR is literally going slow as molasses. Let's see if we can speed them up and set them to full.
You just gotta keep adjusting the vehicles, and for some reason... Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Что? Жду распоряжений. Готов действовать. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, These guys like to glitch out. Tie them together. These guys just love going fucking AWOL here. Yeah, you're gonna hit him. Yeah, it's cool. You're gonna veer off. Let's move you idiots out of the way and just have you take rear. This is all the micromanagement you have to deal with convoys, and that's why I hate them with a burning fucking passion. There were literally trees on the road, too. That doesn't really help with so, their pathing. And you just keep deleting the glitched out fix. And you just have them follow. Done with you. Resetting skill won't do much, but, you know. Convoys can work with, like, two or three Vicks, that's fine, but this many is just way too much. I'm just gonna have them all move up and then send them individually up here. See if we've cut the dead weight here. Don't know what you're doing. But I might, I'm probably gonna have to set them one at a time on this road. Because otherwise these guys are not doing anything. And that's another strategy you can do. is to just set these puppies one at a time. Wilco. In a convoy style. Aware, 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 make sure they're all set to aware, because careless, now there's too much unit micro, so we're just going for what we see here. Just separate them all, let them have at it, and then just let them go from there. So three armed vehicles are going to be towards the front. But every unit, I'm just doing some double checks here, make sure everything is not set to hold fire. But they're sending the armed vehicles first. Because that's where they had the most issue. And they literally barricaded this road. Well, AI aren't going to see these barricades. <clears throat> so they're going ahead, and then the rest of the vehicles are coming in. Well, Rodriguez goes down up on that tower. Oh. 
Oh, that's not gonna help for visual. <laughs> visual, that's not gonna help at all. Lovely, two of them just broke their front wheels there. No hey, Kizo, move away, move away from the truck. trucks coming in. They're going to try to run this. I'm gonna have to manually drive this. He's not giving local fire support at all. So. Yeah, this is exactly why convoys are difficult. So they're down to two effective. I'm gonna have all these units kind of push in. Also, we have these two BTRs that we gotta send in from the south to go check up on what the hell's going on. their orders. There goes Wolf being outflanked on the left. So, let's get more warm up, I mean, do we call this a mission fail? Because the freaking Vix themselves were stopped. I mean, it's so, a mission. Everyone up. dies, but someone jammed their gun. His gun jammed as he was trying to get this guy. They even bailed out of the BTR. This guy's about to run up. And there goes everyone. Now what? Do I, uh... So, let's give them a so they're trying to get some reinserts down. One of these Vicks didn't even leave. I mean, I don't know who coded this, but. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome. My shall we? God. I mean, we'll say one can get around here. These other three are definitely going to need a repair vehicle, so I guess we'll have one sent from Zimbabwe. 
Uh, do we have any sort of repair off-road? I don't want to do a Typhoon. Do we have a uh, repair Ural? Flatbed fuel. They're probably going to need fuel. But in terms of repair, they don't seem to have one, so... We'll make it a worker Ural, and we'll send these two guys down to repair these Vicks. And we'll come around these ammo trucks and try to get them secured here. I'm gonna put these two guys back into the BTR to recruit it. Oh, they're getting out because something's fucked about it. Try to make them get back in, but otherwise we're just working on these trucks here. Careless, hold fire, full, go. Well, that's one way to disable it. They literally reinserted to take care of the rest of the convoy. And he died sitting on his ass. With his eyes slightly glitched out. Ain't that lovely. Now, the other Vic wasn't... Uh, that was the only Vic I sent down, so... Ah... <sighs> Other BTRs are coming up to assist. But this is going to take a while. So this was, uh... Interesting, to say the least. I guess the next convoy we'll have, we'll just have these puppies repaired once the Urals get here. We'll have them refueled as well. And we'll just go from there. Is this Milsim? Ah, uh, I'm not going to answer that. What's a little bit cheap? that I would call in for repair and refuel. What's cheap about that? I mean, they reinserted everybody. All of my ops are not Milsim, not by any means. Chopper. He's looking right up at it. We'll recrew what we have right now. Set up what we can. But all that happened so quickly, I didn't even need to spawn in anything uh, in terms of flares or whatnot. Otherwise, I don't know what they're going to do about this Vic. But we have the BTRs coming up. That's an unar- uh, it's an armed one, doesn't have crew on it, and then that one has crew on it. Yeah, 506 is a milsim unit. They're the only, like, Milsim group I do dedicated for hosting for right now. I wouldn't call my group a Milsim unit because it's a mix. We do casual stuff and we do really hardcore stuff. And then this, I I think they call themselves a Milsim unit. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? Otherwise, we'll see. So no one's watching rear. This is going to be a bit of a rude awakening. They can't hear the Vic over the armor by now. Yep, so the other BTR is going to dismount, investigate that uh, gas ammo and see if they can get it repaired. Understood.
Are you deaf? I guess he's blind, too. Roger. So what, there's more hostiles over here because we deserve that. This BTR is going to swing around. They missed all those AT shots. This group's going to come in. Go see what's up. They're firing their fouls. I think they're trying to shoot them now. Yes, sir. And we have the infantry coming around. Solid copy. Are my repair vics out yet? So it's going to take a few moments to get each of these puppies repaired and refueled. And just that slightly to the right to get it moved. Let's see, it's 920. I'd say for this many people, it's probably going to take a few minutes to get each one repaired. This one only has a busted wheel, so that takes about 30 seconds to fix. Her fuel is also pretty much okay, but this one is going to take a moment. So we'll move that. Let's look back over here and see what's going on. These Maz shots are all very, very short. They got one down. Some just went on a Zeus. And the other Maz shot went off. And they got him. Again, I haven't spawned in anything. I'm just using the assets that I have in the field. And it looks like Gandhi got shot from their six. But look at this. We got a helicopter we can now use. And it looks like there's a reinforcement team that's also getting out from here. I didn't even know about that group. I think they all just died. One of them was able to get out. A tree got knocked over. So now we also have one of their helicopters. I will be taking that. This guy's gonna continue north. Actually, first they're gonna check that all these bodies are gone. So let's see, this Vic would have been repaired by now. Now we're working on the third. Here, let's have you come back to this Vic, and we're gonna take this helicopter. You guys not know how to fly? It's real easy, you just hold the shift key. Or not, or it's so very comp- it's because I'm not even the pilot right now. Here, fine, you're right. Rebels don't have pilots. Let's move them around, but we'll say... Oh, get out of the chopper. Come on. Let's go, you chuckle fucks. Come on. Running to get back in the chat. Yes, he is. Wait. Someone just ran somebody else over. That's great. All the way. Uh, Aper's bounding. That should be good. Perfect. And this third vehicle should have been repaired by now. Which 
because if it's stuck in the ground, there we go. We're gonna say they got uh, everyone over these barricades now as well. We're going to pull what we have here. One of these guys just bled out. What do you mean the vehicle's full? It's all blue in here, that's weird. So we'll get that. Uh, we're gonna have to have some of the infantry actually swing back north. We're gonna get these two vehicles, send them up, say over radio comms, hey. Know what the hell's going on, otherwise let's get these guys over. Careless, full, just drive. Just drive. We've got a team that we'll come in with. Oh, that other BTR I sent up ages ago finally arrived as well. So we're going to send infantry up because we got to send the uh, fuel truck. We'll set these things ready to go as if they left it. And then this right here that we'll send under escort. We'll say these guys caught a ride with them. Here, this is as far as we're going to take you. Because the rest of us need to go with this BTR. Understood. Welcome. Get your asses up there. I want to send the BTR with these infantry, uh, with this Vic. To escort it down there. Just quickly replace that since it's one of those scripted in vehicles. And adjust him like that. So he'll catch up. That's what we'll work with. So this other Vic's going to cut through. You're going to cut through, and you're set to aware and stuff. So basically, we just got to get this last Vic. We'll take two of the infantry and send them up north with those vehicles. <clears throat> They've got a Moss right there. And he gets dropped. All right, so that's one of those Vicks destroyed. We still have to get this vehicle repaired. Akula died. To what? I don't even know. Since there's been a bunch of bumblefuckery, I need to do that. I forget. The other thing gets hit. There causes the second Vic to explode. Roger that. Copy. Let's get you two. Well, all the crazy shenanigans that's been happening, we're just going to send these things back up into Zimbabwe. On the way. Oh, lol, one of these guys just bled out. Ready for orders. Lovely. It's because the AI the sometimes don't bandage themselves. That's fine. Crew you up. Don't Ready. know what's taking you so long. Get you in there. One of them just died. Yep. Use those settings. Combats. Something like that. Solid copy.
Everything's on fire. We'll just say for the shits and giggles, this guy got his wheels back. Because at least we're bringing the assets to them so we can end this crazy AO. You gonna go? You gonna wait? Now they're gonna go. On the way. Of course, I say that. Copy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Fuck it. Screw the additional infantry. I just want it to go. This guy's probably going to hear that and go a different way. On the way. Roger that. That's fair. I mean, we're going right in the middle the of enemy territory here, but... Understood. He's not gonna drive to where he sees a bunch of lights and there's a bunch of explosions, so... And this Vic is still there. goes but one last BTR and then we'll see how this all plays out Did he get out while it was landing and get pancakes? I I don't even know. because he was that close. I wouldn't go near him. <laughs> and that's what I expected to happen. What the hell are they shooting? They just wounded Wolf? What the hell are they doing? <laughs> wow.
So what, don't they need to demo this and check out the rest of the AO or what? I've got nothing left to send up at him. I don't have any vehicles. I guess, I mean, I've got these squads of infantry, but they're like over a click and a half away and they're in a camp, so there's not really any point. I don't know anymore. I mean, they were just supposed to blow up this convoy, so I'm just waiting to see if they do it or they'll pull out or whatever. But yeah. My ops are... I... I've said this multiple times. I do uh, mill some ops with the 506, and I guess these guys, they call themselves Milsim, so this classifies as a Milsim by their definition. I'm just the rent -a zeus right now. And I'd say tier 3 ops are technically Milsim as well, based on they just have that idea. But, yeah, look, someone's bandaging Wolf for that. I sent this vehicle around on purpose, uh, because this thing literally saw all of these Vicks get blown up. It's not going to keep driving. If it sees a bunch of burning vehicles, it's going to risk a different route. So yeah, you're going to blow it up or what? I went easy. Yeah, yeah, I did. I just let the AI play it out. I didn't remote control a single thing except if it was to fix its pathing and that's it. Absorb them into TSB. Ah, nah. Let them do their thing. I thought the whole purpose was to blow up these ammo trucks, but if they're gonna leave it, they're gonna leave it. I'm gonna go up to my arsenal and grab an LR and talk to him. This was the practice op? I have no idea. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Ground Command, this is Zeus. Do you copy? Unless he's dead. It's a tactical bacon can. This is Zeus doing a radio check on frequency 60. Does anyone copy at this time? I copy. Roger, uh, mission is Bye. complete. I repeat, mission is complete. Yeah, well, let's let's see how great this debrief is. I mean, um, what the fuck did I just witness? Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? 
have their nice little debrief room. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm noise. gonna hate that voice. I'm gonna hate that voice. Damn, okay, there are no. a whole bunch of people. On a scale of 1 to 10, how, <laughs> how good did that event go? Be right. I'm gonna be back. McCaden, right, I'm gonna everybody talk to all these shut people up in the lobby. Settle in. Debrief starts now. McCaden, take it away. I'm local muted. We... Yeah. For cool. that... Okay. That, I, I can't... I haven't decided yet what I think of that op. It's either good or it's either bad. Um... We started off with some people... I, I hope was... What I hope was an accident. Uh... I don't think it was at this Kim point. Kim White, the grenade. Accident. Um... Then... After we stepped off... We found the position, we got we got set up, everything was going good up until let's, uh, let's get I don't know how welcome, it was possible, we? but I feel like the convoy took us off guard when we had like twenty whole minutes to prepare. I, I don't know. Um but we got wiped out by the convoy. We had to reinsert. We got wiped or we got wiped out again. We had to reinsert. And then we finally got it. We, we got the convoy, we did good. Um, Hellgraph, I'm sure, he went on a shooting rampage, killed Kizo, I think, but other than that, other than the people trying to get famous by ruining this for us, um, oh, oh, Hellgraph is here, glad you could make it, we were just talking about you. Take it away, Jiggly. Yeah, I was just about to do that. So, anybody got anything else to yeah, add? So, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Liru, I think Liru wants to say something. Everybody can talk now. Uh, yeah, I have something to say. Uh, who was just banned? That was Hellgraph. Grant, go ahead. Oh, um... I'm staying silent. Well, I'd say we probably need night vision goggles. We're gonna do night missions more because I've never really seen a night op go like, like really mm. successful. Because there's like half our team can't really see it all because we don't use the gamma exploit, which I personally don't like using either. I'm pretty sure the gamma is not even working. But yeah, but I I think night vision goggles should be considered. That's all. Next. You do realize what oh year this is, right? We're portraying 1970. They didn't, they didn't really have so that. Let's give them a warm issue, welcome, shall Grant, we? But I appreciate the suggestion. That's mostly the debrief. I'm going to go talk to these well, people. It's not exactly uh, I'd, I'd like to exactly give my two cents. Let's see if you're trying to make it based on year. Grant? All right, first things first. Um, it was much more common in the 1960s and 70s to have night vision scopes rather than night vision goggles. If you're trying to role play a war period, that's what you should do. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, you have the night vision scopes. I saw that, but and just in response to the night vision goggles thing, I don't think you need to do that. But then again, that's just me doing historical stuff based on what I know. Uh, anyway, um, Op was a clusterfuck, in my opinion. Uh, beyond that, just here's everything in the deep. Uh, I'll go over everything in terms of a list of what happened and how I portrayed things, but uh. First off, whoever made that convoy for you, uh, no offense, was not, they did not know how to make a convoy. I ended up just literally deleting everything and replacing it multiple times uh, to the point I also took assets from just vanilla within in, uh, the sideways menu instead of controlling and pasting, or copying and pasting, excuse me, because they were not grouped correctly, so when you gave movement orders to it, it would fuck itself up to the point I literally just let them have at it. I just gave, I ungrouped them all, let them go in and do what they do, and that's why some of the VIX ended up crashing into each other uh, on the road, the three ammo trucks. But regardless, let's go into <clears throat> let's go into our little timeline from de uh, brief to debrief. So, you guys briefed, that was great. You went into your ammo room and one of you threw a grenade. Yeah. That worked out as uh, well as I expected it to. You killed everybody. It's not really funny, but, you know, it's childish. Uh, then you got to the AO. You left one of your choppers behind because I guess you didn't have enough room. That's fine. It's okay. Because uh, it was out of sight. But, you know, you went up. I knew you were coming. 
because one of you chuckleheads decided to shoot a tracer round right into that staging area. So I immediately put everyone prone. I put a Ural uh, down south to see what the heck that was. Uh, and I managed to get a runner down uh, after that firefight to basically go north where the convoy is coming to basically say, hey, we've got people. They're probably going to set up an ambush. I don't know who discharged, but that was that was dumb. Uh, furthermore, one of you went turncoat as you were setting up. I watched it happen. I thought it was unamusing. But yeah, if you want to kill your friends for fame, I guess, then, you know, great. More power to you. I get more money. It's great. Um, here. Yeah, whatever. But, you know, why? I thought this was a milsim unit. Uh, anyway, after that, Sent the convoy down, had a bit of fun refixing everything that was Let's, made uh, there. Give him a warm welcome. Then the actual convoy assault, a lot of you died very, very quickly. And that's because just based on how the convoy ended up turning out, which actually worked really well with how they were warned by the one runner, uh, the BTR and the BMP went first with a troop transport, and they pretty much murdered a majority of you. After that, there was another transport that went over to the side, started deploying troops, something explosive went next to it, <clears throat> uh, killed most of them, that was great. But eventually, just with the numbers coming in, uh, every one of you died. Now, <clears throat> that's not to say it was a total loss. A lot of the gases themselves with the ammo were actually disabled, so I had to call in a fuel truck and a repair truck from the north. Meanwhile, you guys were doing your second reinsert, but by then, over radio, it was said that there had been something that happened, so there were three BTRs way to the south that were just there, so I used those as QRF. Uh, those are what wiped you the second time. Let's, uh, let's uh, I thought about stealing your chopper, but then chat reminded me that these rebels probably, or these guys wouldn't have people that knew how to pilot, so we just put mines next to it. Uh, then we just repaired the vehicles, pushed south, and the last ammo truck that saw you wipe the first two and a BTR decided to take a right and take a longer route around next to Blue Fork camps, but worth the risk considering you either die now or die later. And then that one last BTR came in. And within that one BTR incident, there was A, there was a guy way too close to that BTR who got wounded for some weird reason by the Maz, I believe. And then he died by the explosion. And B, some of you guys started shooting at Wolf and almost killed him. You knocked him unconscious, but you didn't kill him. So, yeah. Bunch of PID issue, bunch of friendly fire. Whether it was intentional or on accident, I think I saw a mix today. And, um, yeah. Great first stop. Anyone have anything else to say? No. Am I seeing you guys next week? Yeah. Sure. Cool. Alright, I guess we finally have the tier of comedy hopefully we can fix that anyway guys thank you so much for watching go operate operation i hope you at least laughed because i was face bombing half the time <laughs> they're gonna watch this back and hate me but oh man if anyone within my community saw that and some of you guys are on northern andruza and i'm assuming some of the tier fives are gonna see this too oh this is gonna be bad but hey whatever go operate operationally and take care. Ha, ha, ha.